Hi, I'm Sina, your favorite retailer, and each episode I talk about or do whatever you say in the comments. In today's episode, I want to show you how you can buy clothes as an AVDL, uh, specifically uh, not just clothes that you buy at AVDL stores, but um, basically how you can buy clothes that are kind of, you know, more to the AVDL uh, interest and I guess lifestyle um, from like mainstream stores and stuff and some tricks how you can get some childish stuff maybe um, and how you can also wear stuff that is potentially considered to be childish and still kind of find your way of finding excuses if somebody asks strange questions or whatever. So yeah, that's basically you know a video I thought would be pretty interesting. Um, I guess uh, let's um, first uh, have some kind of I guess let's put a storage down here next to that field. There's workers on here. I'm not sure why my food production is still not up even after this fourth field, but maybe I'm not putting this right stuff. I mean, that is, is that broccoli? No, that's not. I don't know. I, I would say that all of these are okay or edible straight away, I guess. Like some kind of beans or whatnot. Moderate amounts of dried devil weight. This one. Of food in the form of dried beans, which can be stored for longer than other crops. They are very frost tolerant, can contribute to soil fertility. Peas are best grown in early spring before diseases are most active. Okay, yeah, good. Good. Uh, I guess let's just wait and see whether the food situation improves. And let's start with shopping uh, for ABDL clothes, or f as an ABDL for normal clothes, I guess. So first of all, um, uh, I, I, I guess I made a video about rumpers um, a few episodes earlier, uh, which you might want to watch. But uh, there's certain types of clothes that are associated with babies, but that are actually available like in mainstream settings. Um, and are kind of like you as an uh, as somebody who kind of likes to, uh, you know, have some kind of babyish side and wants to potentially dress with baby clothes. You can basically um, get these clothes, and while somebody thinks you just, you know, uh, having some normal clothes that, or maybe some rather unusual clothes, but you can still buy them in some mainstream stores, and they've seen them before, so it's not too unusual. If they ask you why you're wearing your rumpers, um, then you can just say, you know, I guess you don't call the rumpers, you call it a jumpsuit. You can just say that, hey, they're comfortable. They don't have a waistband and it's kind of, they keep you warm evenly and stuff. There's all sorts of arguments you can make why these are great. Um, and while you kind of have this kind of babyish feeling of wearing some kind of babyish clothes, uh, other people won't even notice. Um, unless they're, of course, uh, you know, from the same, uh, you know, interest group, I guess. But for the most part, um, you know, let's, let's start off with what kind of baby clothes there are and uh, what kind of options you have in terms of clothes that you could get in mainstream kind of stores and stuff. So let's actually, uh, let's talk about onesies. So those that have, like, you know, a like buttons uh, on the crotch that kind of go around the diaper. Um, these things you can buy in higher sizes, like in adult sizes. Um, you probably will find them in some kind of special care-ish stores. Um, you might find them on like mainstream sites. For example, there's like this, um, there's this Marks and Spencer store in the UK and it does, they do sell um, in the baby category, they do sell onesies and also rumpers um, in like adult sizes, or I guess they're children's sizes, I suppose. So they're like the max size is like 176 centimeters, which is whatever in feet, I guess. <laughs> and um, you basically, ha I mean, if I, let me just think about, I think the average size for a boy in like where I'm from is probably 170, 
No, I think it's actually 180. So basically, uh, personally, I'm uh, a bit smaller than most people, <laughs> like by, uh, I don't know, 15 centimeters or something. So it's, um, it's easy for me to find uh, a very reasonable selection of like uh, children's clothes and stuff that I can wear. Although I'm still on the like upper range. So I would, I would probably buy like a 176 centimeter uh, size over like a 164. Um, because it's just going to, you know, it's just going to have some extra room. And of course, there's some proportion differences, um, like maybe around the shoulders and stuff. Um, which, you know, I, I don't know, it really depends on the manufacturer, I guess, how they kind of lay out their sizes. But if you are not, if you're not very big, or if you're like below average, if you're like female, for example, you have, you know, of course, better chances of finding something, uh, because the average would be, uh, I guess, actually, I'm like average, I'm average girl size, I think. So... An average girl um, would basically be able to get some children's clothes. And uh, that's pretty good. Of course, it's going to be the upper end of the range. And if you go into the baby section, you will most likely only find like actual baby sizes. Um, if you're like very small, you can probably actually fit in baby stuff. There's like 140 centimeter baby sizes or I guess toddler sizes. So if you're like 140, you might be able to kind of get away with actually baby clothes-ish. Or I guess, you know, it's kind of smaller children uh, or toddlers. I guess babies grow very fast, so that's probably why. But, you know, if you're very small, you can just go straight up for baby stuff. And if you're, you know, average girl and maybe smaller boy, um, then you can probably go for... Uh, the you know higher the upper end of children's clothes and um, the the advantage of going for children's stuff is of course it's more babyish uh, there's like more colorful stuff on there there's like prints on there which you would find on you know you know children's baby clothes and stuff and it also is more like it's it's less expensive which is also a bonus so if you're buying children's clothes even in bigger sizes it's less expensive than if you're buying the same thing in adult. Um, and again, the colors are going to be more, you know, colorful and uh, more babyish, I guess. So, yeah, but Marks and Spencers, again, you can buy onesies in adults-ish sizes, in big kid sizes, I guess. Um, they're like white. There's also different color. No, there's different like grayish ones. There's like, I think, a bl dark blue one, which, you know, is sadly enough, um, often the case with like higher or with higher sizes that you get less color option and more like darkish colors because for whatever reason people that make these clothes that have decided that if you're if you're an adult you can only wear lackluster quote-unquote colors that are labeled as blue but you can't tell it from black so it's kind of I don't know I don't get the trend why adult clothing can't be colorful um, but uh, yeah, so basically you can check for you know, on some major stores in the baby sections um, and just sort by sizes or just filter out different sizes and just see the list of all sizes and just click everything that is potentially a size for like children, like 176 and whatever is in the US unit system. Um, and then you can basically um, see whether there's potentially something. Just because a section is labeled baby doesn't mean that the shop doesn't list some clothes there. Or maybe there's some clothes that are produced for babies and for children um, in kind of different sizes. And then you can basically profit from that by basically buying the higher sizes and you also know that it's actually baby clothes. For example, the, the rumpers um, that I have is also available for babies or for toddlers at the very least. So it is an actual toddler uh, clothes is actually a total piece of clothing, and um, I just uh, have it in a higher size. So that's also very cool. So again, what you can even buy onesies. They're, of course, much cheaper than from like ABDL sources, and in my opinion, also fit better. 
uh, but that's a different issue. Um, in terms of like, you know, I would recommend to go into the children's section if it makes any sense for you. So if you're like 170 centimeters ish, it's probably a good idea to check in children's um, section whether you can find something nice. Again, because it's cheaper, better colors, it's more childish, and of course it is children's clothes. Uh, you also kind of can profit from the idea that there is probably some kind of, you know, elementary school kind of design that is also available in your size just because it's produced in different sizes. And so I would highly recommend to kind of go after that. And yeah, what other kind of clothes do we have besides rumpers and onesies? Um, potentially mittens uh, that you can wear in winter is a good idea. Um, there's uh, like the difference between adult hand and children's hand is actually not that different. So they're going to sell some kind of childish ones actually for like a you know, size that might be not the best fit, but you can fit it, especially since mittens are not designed to be 100 percent, you know, very practical in that sense to allow your fingers to be, you know, manipulating stuff accurately. Um, and, you know, there's uh, besides mittens, uh, there's like, uh, you know, winter caps and that kind of stuff or even summer caps and that stuff. Um, that you can get from the children's section. And, uh, you know, uh, I guess pants is not that babyish. Um, yeah, I guess if you're getting some kind of one piece dresses or whatnot, of course you can find some colorful ones, colorful ones that also look kind of toddlerish or these kind of play suits um, with like these straps around the shoulders and stuff. You know, there's lots of toys you can make that are more childish. And of course you can go into ABDL stores that also have clothes. If you like them, you can, of course, get some stuff that is actually, like, you're know, made to be baby clothes, basically. So, yeah. But that's pretty much uh, the idea. So, if you're, if you're an ABDL and you want to kind of buy normal, quote-unquote, clothes, you can make some choices to kind of wear some, uh, you know, ABDL-ish clothes that other people will just, uh, you know, accept as normal clothes while you have fun. So... Yeah, uh, for now then, bye.